This short video will show you the setup required to use the offline module in Sitka's Evergreen. Evergreen's offline module is designed to log transactions, such as checkouts, during network outages. These transactions are then uploaded and processed once network operations are restored. The offline module can be used when your site's internet is down, or when the Evergreen server goes down, or during planned outages such as upgrades and system enhancements. Sitka Support strongly re recommends that you save a PDF copy of Sitka's Evergreen documentation. This way you can still view the manual if your internet is down. You can save a PDF copy of the manual by clicking on the PDF icon at the bottom of any page in Sitka's Evergreen documentation. You must complete the following setup when you have network access. You must have a registered workstation on the computer you intend to use for offline circulation. If you have not registered a workstation on your computer, you will not be able to use the offline circulation module. We strongly recommend that you bookmark the offline URL. Click on circulation and select offline circulation and bookmark um, the URL. You can save it to your Chrome bookmarks. To load the required configuration information, you must perform a patron search. Select any patron on the results list and go to the Edit tab. The relevant configuration information for the workstation is downloaded during this process. And then just click on Save. If you use Hatch for printing, you must set up the offline printer on each workstation in order to print receipts from the offline module. The offline default printer can only be set up when Evergreen is online, but attempting to print a receipt from the offline module when Evergreen is online will give an error. To set up your um, offline printer, select Admin and select Workstation and then Printer Settings. Click on Offline choose your printer, and then select Apply Changes. If you do not use Hatch for printing, no further configuration is required. Thank you for watching this video. For more information, please visit the BC Libraries Cooperative website.